Olá, youtubers! Olá, people around the world! Olá, pessoal ao redor do mundo! Tudo bem com vocês? So, welcome to this live do Yes! Yep! So, you're beginning this live class. I'm here with you. It's a bit late here in Brazil. It's already half past ten. I'm a little bit tired because I worked the whole day, but I'm still here to have this amazing class with you. And as you probably know, you're having... Okay, so I'll say hello for people that are here. So we are having this live classes. That's what I'm going to say uh, here on YouTube every Tuesday. And every Tuesday I'll send to you, we'll send to you guys in our WhatsApp group, this group. So maybe you can see it. Yeah, this is a special group where people join to receive this kind of material. So sometimes I send some videos, but most of the time you receive an audio. Yeah. Yeah, an audio, you won't listen to it right now. And the transcription of this, of the, the audio, it's a dialogue, always a dialogue in Portuguese. And then now, today I sent also with the translation. So you have the Portuguese version and also the translation. And then you can study, practice your listening and also check the meaning of new expressions, new words. And on Tuesday, I sent a PDF file here. It's a study material. Yeah. So practice the pronunciation of words with CNH. That is the theme of our live class today. So you have this PDF file. So it's a study material that you can use to follow the class. Okay. So guys, if you want, I could recommend to you to join this WhatsApp group. And the best way to do that, it's going by to this, it's going to this link here. Yes, portuguese.com slash zap. And then, I know, sorry. And then you ask to join. You click in the button and you ask to join and you add, and we will add you to our WhatsApp group where we send materials. This group is just for sharing materials. So let's say hello for people here. Hi, Pink Peer Disney Wishes. Hi, you're new, welcome, brand new. I'm better at reading Portuguese and speaking. I blame my friends for sending me comics that I love. Okay, of course. Um, last week we had this uh, we had the, this online event, which is uh, five steps to fluency in Portuguese. And in this masterclass, it's a masterclass where we teach five steps to fluency to achieve fluency in Portuguese uh, with the method we developed and we believe in it. And then in this masterclass, we say things about that because we, as adults, we are very used to learn languages through reading. So most of the time we start with reading, with reading activities. Then we develop our reading skills much better than our listening skills. So, and, and in the Yes Portuguese method, what we try to do is to help you guys to improve your listening skills first, your, your oral comprehension. So when you listen and listen and listening and listening again, many times you get used to the sounds, you get used to the structures, you'll be able to start to recognize the words and then you get so used to them that one day you start to speaking with a good pronunciation. So speaking is a consequence of doing good ex listening exercises. Yes, uh, it's like babies learning language, okay? So let's say hello to other people here. Omar, olá Omar. Thomas, hello, olá, tudo bem? It's a yapper here around us. And do you know what is a yapper? Do you know what a yapper is? Well, guys, a yapper is a student in the Yes Portuguese course. So we have the method. So we teach online, we teach for free, we give free tips. And this is a very important part of our work. But you also have this closed course 
uh, that is a course that goes from basic to advanced and everything there is organized for your learning process. So um, we have this, our students there and we call kindly our students of a Yapper because they are member of our own community of Portuguese learners. So welcome Thomas, welcome Yapper. Uh, and now I, I was forgetting, but it's important to say here because last Sunday we closed uh, the enrollment to the third class of 2019 of the Yes Portuguese course. So welcome new Yappers. I don't know if you were around here, but um, welcome. Welcome to our course. Welcome to our group of students. We're very happy to have you, you with us. So you soon speak Portuguese very, uh, you soon speak Portuguese fluently, I believe that. So, olá, Jerry, olá, tudo bem, e você? Tudo bem. So, guys, if you're here, then I would love to ask you a favor. So, share this, any hashtag, any hashtag of this, so learning Portuguese, or especially live do yes, or Portuguese class, in your social media so you can take us take a picture of this screen right here right now okay of your computer of your cell phone so you can take a screenshot and then pay post it in your instagram or your facebook wherever uh and please tag us yes portuguese at yes portuguese then we see you who are you, who, who you are, where you are in the world, and then you can follow you back uh, and you can interact on the internet. It's pretty nice. And then you, if um, one other, another important thing is you're here on YouTube and you're, if you're not following us yet here on YouTube, please do it because then you will receive notifications when we post a new video, when you post a new content and we have a new live class uh, and also do the same on Instagram and Facebook, please. That's very important for us and that will help you a lot. And then guys, stop talking and let's begin, okay? So today we're going to talk about, let me just put a different color here. Oh, you're yeah, also on Twitter, Pink Up Her Disney Wishes. You're yeah, also on Twitter. Yeah, you can find us there. Yes, yes, Portuguese, just that. Okay, so this live class today is practicing, practicing the pronunciation of words with C and H in Portuguese. Okay, so guys, we, you probably know, and this is in our PDF file, in our study material, you probably have, I don't know what language do you, you speak, so please tell me uh, what language you speak. It's English, French, Italian, Spanish, I don't know, Chinese. Just uh, say to me there which language do you speak. And uh, I'm, why I'm asking it? I'm asking it because when you, when, if you speak French or Italian or Spanish or English, I know that you have this digurf in your language. This digraph is called in Portuguese, you can say digrafo, or you can also say encontro consonantal. Encontro consonantal. So, encontro consonantal. It's when you, two consonants are together. So, here we have C and H, two consonants together, okay? Encontro consonantal. So in English, I know you pronounce it like chi, right? So you say cherry, chess, much, cheese, choice, right? Chi. So you pronounce like that. I know that in I don't know, I don't speak Italian, but I'm studying Italian. Uh, and uh, okay, so we have a lot of English speakers and also with Spanish speakers and Filipino Tagalog. Cool. Nice. Hello, Adenilson. Olá, é o meu pai. It's my father, guys. Adenilson Silva. So, olá, pai. Tudo bem? Okay, so, guys, in English, you pronounce 
C and H like chi, right? If I'm saying something wrong, please tell me. Uh, and in Italian, we pronounce, I know that you pronounce it when it, it's following E, I or E, it is like K, right? So it is, for example, Bruschetta, Pinocchio, Chiesa, K, okay? Uh, and I know that in Spanish, it's almost like English, so mucho, charlar, chico. I don't know, I don't speak Spanish, but I, I have some knowledge of Spanish. So, and in French, it is pronounced like sh, sh, right? So it is chanson, champagne, chanteuse, for example. Right. Portuguese, it's like French. No, and no that, let me correct the sentence. Portuguese is not like French. It's they are cousins, distant cousins. But like in Portuguese, we pronounce C and H uh, like we do in French. So, for example, in, if in French you say ch, chanteuse or chanson, you say the same in Portuguese. So let's let's check the list of words I uh, sent to you in our in the pdf materials okay so i'm just going to open it here let me just find it here right now and you check these words oh my god what is it okay so oh let me see here thank you charles yes correct thank you correct thank you james so guys where is it One second, I'm just finding it because I have it opened on my cell phone, but I, I would love to have it on my computer, then I can, I could just share with you. It's more like a, it's more of a throat sound. Sh, sh. No, it's more like here in the, in the, in the front of your mouth. So say sh, sh. Okay, sh. Uh, we will practice some words right now. Just one second. Uh, what is it? I could have my support here helping me to find it. Okay, anyway, guys, I write it um, again. No problem. I don't know what is it because I'm not using my computer. So, okay, so let's go back. Um, okay, here we are. Okay, so then we have, so we have, for example, in our, in our file, you have chateado, which means upset. Okay, so chateado, chateado. Let's repeat with me. When I'm saying this, you repeat with me there, okay? So you say chateado, chateado. It means you're upset. So we also have sheyu. Sheyu. Okay, so let me let uh, let me just say goodbye to my father. Pai, boa noite. Te amo. Dormo com Deus. <laughs> okay, back to the class. So we have sheyu, which is full. Have full sheyu, sheyu, and then we have shok. Chocolate. Let's repeat. Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Ah, I, I won't write the meaning of this because it's the same thing. Chocolate. Okay. Then we have this word. Shopee. Shopee. And it means draft beer. Shopee. So if you come to Brazil and you are in a bar, in a restaurant or something like that, and someone asks you if you want a shopee, shopee it's draft beer, okay? Shopee, it's not choppy. Shopee, shopee. Okay, now we have this verb, chutar, that is to kick. Chutar, chutar, sh, chutar. Then we have chapéu, chapéu, that is hat. Uh, and in our list we also have chá. T. And then we have chegar, that is to arrive. And after that, chuva, chuva, 
that is rain. And then chover is the verb that is to rain. Now let's repeat all of these words. So we have chateado, chateado, cheio, cheio, chocolate, chocolate, chope, chope, chutar, chutar, chapéu, chapéu, chá, chá, chegar, chegar, chuva, chuva, e chover, chover, that is to rain. Okay, then I also sent to you some words where C and H are in the middle of the word. So as you saw, here we have words in the beginning. And now let's check some words in the middle of the, of the word. Oh, some words that has C and H in the middle, okay? So for example, we have inchado. Inchado, that it's swollen. Swollen. Then machucar, that is to hurt. Cochilar, it's to take a nap. Um, cachorro, cachorro, it's dog. Mochila, mochila, it's backpack. Then fechamento, that it's closing. Cachaça. Cachaça is a Brazilian drink. Okay. Sanduíche. Sandwich. Um, lanchonete. E salsicha. Salsicha. So, lanchonete is snack bar. Snack bar. E salsicha is sausage. Okay? So let's repeat. Inchado, inchado. Machucar, machucar. Cachorro, cachorro. Mochila, mochila. Fechamento, fechamento. Cachaça, cachaça. Sanduíche, sanduíche. Lanchonete. Lanchonete, salsicha, salsicha. Good? So now I want you to uh, write in the comment which word of this list is the most difficult for you to pronounce. Okay? So try to repeat them and then see which one is the most difficult for you to pronounce. Okay, so... Uh, Pink said, I know what cachaça is. Mm, have you tried it? Disney serves it at food and wine. Cachaça and wine? Because wine is um, wine is already an alcoholic drink. And cachaça is also an alcoholic drink. And it's very strong. It's really, really strong. Uh, it's like pure alcohol. <laughs> Ok, Omar, chope é nova para você? Nice. You should come to Brazil, sit in a bar and order a chope. Ok? Draft a beer. Good, good, good. Very well, guys. So, now that we've learned how to pronounce sh, words with C and H and boils, as you see, we always use the same sound. It's always sh, sh. So, sha, she, sho. Shoe, okay? Okay, food and wine is an event. It's a celebration of food and alcohol that pairs up. Cool, it's an event. Nice, nice. Sorry, I didn't know. Cool, nice. Okay, guys, so then you say this digraph, this encontro consonantal with voyos. Then we have sha. She, she, sho, and shu. Okay? Sha, she, she, sho, shu. Always this sound. Sh, sh. Okay? Sometimes people confuse this when they should use C and H and when they should use X. 
But that's this, that's a topic for another class. We will have that, it's in our planning. Uh, but today you just need to know how to pronounce words with CNH, okay? It's sh, this sh sound. Never confuse them again with English. Uh, I have English uh, students, I have had English students and they confuse this pronunciation. For example, when they say lunch, that it's for us, it's almoço. We say almoço as lunch. And in English, it's chi in the end, right? It's lunch. And I, I've, I've read students saying lunch, lunch. Because we have a very similar word that is lanche in Portuguese and it means in English snack. So lunch is almost for us in Portuguese. So let's just put Portuguese first. So you say lunch for almo our almoço. And we say lanche when it's a snack. So sometimes people confuse it. So it's lanche, okay? Lanche, lanche. Good. Now, guys, what we're going to do is to listen to a video, okay? So, you're going to watch a video here and in this video, we, I want you to pay attention to the sound of words and, if you, and I want you to see if you can listen to any word with C and H, okay? Like those that we learned today. So I will, I will play only one minute of the video. The video actually has four minutes, but we'll only listen to the minute 137. That is what I sent to you here in this material. Sounds and see if you can listen any words that you think that uh, has, that have C and H on it. It's in the beginning or in the middle, it doesn't matter. And if you find a word, if you listen to it and you could and you can recognize these words, write in the comment. Right? Deal? So let's do it. So maybe the sound won't be very good because I use another monitor to help me. And sometimes the sound it's from the monitor. I don't know why. And sometimes it's not good here. But anyway, I hope it will be fine. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so I will play it again, okay? Let's... 
seus bons para você. Ih, eu não tenho zero fé pedindo tela, não me fez. Melhor. A sua mulher morreu. E ela tá aqui. Como ela é? Lindo, então, meu amor. Quanta saudade. E tudo bem você, a? Ah? Lúcia, sua mulher. Lúcia. Há 35 anos que eu choro a sua ausência, meu amor. Lina, tu tá mudada, hein? Hum. Tá vivida, deu uma espichada boa, né? Ai, eu te amo tanto. É, ai, eu só vou ver. Deixa eu só falar com o Gabriel, né? Assim, uma coisa do pai de Rádio. Gabriel, oi, brinca aí, gostou? Ah, nossa, hein? Sete anos. É. Será que a gente não consegue dar uma. Oi, é, essa é a. Essa é a minha de papai. Ela deixa só falar no pessoal aqui. Mas vamos resolver, a gente. É. Eu só vou. Muito elas são. Elas são a filha do Gabriel. Sabe o que é uma coisa boa? Quando uhum. a pessoa chega no céu, ela tem que dar circulada na monada. Pra conhecer gente, pra fazer contato, né? Vem cá, não passou tanto tempo nesse Não, eu quero ficar junto com você. <risos> tá bom, então. É. Um beijo pra dar circular. E aí a gente marca esse show. E onde é que a gente vai morar aqui? Não, eu não tô morando. Não, eu tô morando em lugar nenhum. Eu tô indo aqui conversando com uma moça civilizada. Ah, mas eu quero ir logo pra casa pra matar só. Ah, não, não, não. O que, que acabou acontecendo? Não sabia que você vinha. Então eu não me programei. Tô cheio de coisa pra fazer aqui. Eu vou resolver, eu tenho que resolver. E a gente depois se encontra. Hum. Okay, I know the sound is not perfect. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, we are working on it. We're trying to find a way to fix it. Okay, so guys. Uh, all right. So what I'm going to do right now, if you are still there, if you are still excited about it, uh, I will play and I will pause and I will repeat it for you. Then you can read it for me and it to help you to understand better the sound. Okay? I'm oh, sorry. Let's do it. Você viu, tô... ah, eu... Tenho notícias boas pra você. Hein? Ok, so. He says: Tenho notícias boas pra você. Puseram crepe de Nutella no buffet. Repuseram crepe de Nutella no buffet. Ok, if you have the PDF file I send to you in our WhatsApp group to... today, you have the. Translation, okay? I'm not going to translate here. The point is here is to practice pronunciation, okay? Melhor. So he says, melhor, melhor. A sua mulher morreu. A sua mulher morreu. A sua mulher morreu. E ela tá aqui. Como é? E ela tá aqui. Lindo, então, meu amor. So he said... E como assim? And then the, the woman says, Newton, meu amor. And Newton is the name of the guy. Newton, meu amor. Quanta saudade. Quanta saudade. E tudo bem, você é a? E aí, tudo bem? Você é a? Lúcia, sua mulher. Lúcia, sua mulher. Lúcia? Há 35 anos que eu choro a sua ausência, meu amor. Há 35 anos que eu choro a sua ausência, meu amor. And then he says, menina. Tu tá mudada, hein? Tá. Tu tá mudada, hein? Tá vivida, deu uma espichada boa, né? Ai, eu te... Tá vivida, deu uma espichada boa, né? Eu amo tanto. É, ai, eu te amo tanto. É, ai, só você. Deixa eu só falar com o Gabriel, um negocinho, uma coisa boa de rádio. Deixa eu só falar com o Gabriel, um negocinho, uma coisa, bobagem. Rapidinho. Gabriel, gostou? Ah, não? Gabriel, tudo bem? Oi, gostou? Nossa, Ah, nossa, amei. Deixa eu te falar. Quando eu morri, você tinha 27 anos. É. é que quando eu morri, a Lúcia tinha 27 anos. Será que a gente não consegue dar uma... Oi, é, é... Será que a gente não consegue dar uma... Oi, essa é a... 
Será? Essa é a amiga de papai. Ela deixa os... Essa é a amiga de papai. Só falar com o pessoal aqui. Deixa eu só falar com o pessoal aqui. Muito é. Eu só vou resolver. Eu já vou resolver, gente. Eu só vou. Then the girl, the woman says, Newton, elas são. And Newton says, elas são as afilhadas do Gabriel. Sabe o que é uma coisa boa? Quando a pessoa chega no céu, ela tem que dar uma circulada, dar uma andada. Para conhecer gente, para fazer contato. Hebe Camargo passou aqui, não tem nem cinco minutos. Eu quero ficar junto com você. Não, não, eu quero ficar junto com você. <risos> tá bom, então, um beijo pra dar circular e aí a gente marca esse show. Tá bom, então, ó, vou dar uma circula, um beijão, vou dar uma circulada e aí a gente marca esse chope. E onde é que a gente vai morar aqui? No mundo? E onde é que a gente vai morar aqui? Ah, o Newton mora ali, ó. O Newton não mora em lugar nenhum, o Newton ele tá aqui conversando com uma boa civilizada. O Newton não mora em lugar nenhum, o Newton ele tá aqui conversando numa boa civilizado. Ah, não, mas eu quero ir logo para casa para matar a saudade. Ah, não, mas eu quero ir logo para casa para matar a saudade. Pois é, o que acabou acontecendo? Não sabia. Pois é, mas o que é que acabou acontecendo? Não sabia que você vinha. Que que você vinha? Então eu não me programei. Então eu não me programei. E tô cheio de coisa para fazer aqui. Ok, so that's it, that's where we stop, right? So guys, I just play it again and you can try to listen to it again while I will write the words for you. Ok, let's see, let's see. I can understand, uh, so Omar said, Porta dos Fundos são muito engraçados. Yes, they are very funny. Yeah, very funny. Uh, I like Porta dos Fundos a lot because they make these short videos and it's comedy uh, and it's always sometimes very ironic and they also make some critics to the government and to things like that. So I, I like them. So, yes, Omar, you, find she you found Sheyu. Very good. Pink, I can understand half of this once it's load. Wow. Cool, very good. I'm happy. I'm happy you could understand. Words I'm used to hearing connect. Cool. I feel bad for typing a lot. Why? Why do you feel bad? You were here just participating and I'm, I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you are typing and you, that you are we're chatting because this is this make this class even better because you are interacting with me then I have things to comment and I have your comments I have things to say I love comments I love your typing don't don't slow down and Omar says ele é difícil de entender yes but this guy is pretty difficult to understand even for us Brazilian Portuguese speakers sometimes he speaks very fast so it's hard to understand os outros são mais fáceis yes Because they are speaking slow, slower, and uh, he does, he doesn't, he doesn't do that. Yeah, he doesn't do that. I guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I played again. Okay, guys. I played again, and you please do the exercise I asked you to do. Try to listen to words that have C and H on it, or in the beginning, or in the middle, and write in the comments. Let's check these words. <laughs> Tenho notícias boas para você. Hum, eu zero crédito de Nutella, não me vê. Melhor. A sua mulher morreu. E ela tá aqui. Como assim? Newton, meu amor. Quanta saudade. E tudo bem, você é? Lúcia, sua mulher. Lúcia. Há 35 anos que eu choro a sua ausência, meu amor. Menina, tu tá mudada, hein? Hum. Tá vivida, deu uma espichada boa, né? Tá 
Ai, eu te amo tanto. Ai, eu te amo tanto. Deixa eu só falar com o Gabriel, né? Assim, apesar do pai de Rádio. Gabriel, oi, Gabriel. Gostou? Ah, nossa. É. Deixa eu te falar. E quando eu morri, hum. você tinha 27 anos. É. Será que a gente não consegue dar uma. Oi, é essa a. Essa é a linha de papai. Ela deixa só falar no pessoal aqui. Eu já vou resolver. Muito elas são. Elas são a filha do Gabriel. Sabe o que é uma coisa boa? Quando uhum. a pessoa chega no céu, ela tem que dar circulada na mandada. Conhecer gente, para fazer contato, né? Ficar mais no passado. Não tem nem cinco minutos. Não, eu quero ficar junto com você. <risos> tá bom. Então, ó, um beijo para dar circular e aí a gente marca esse show. E onde é que a gente vai morar aqui? Não, eu não tô Não, eu não tô em lugar nenhum. Eu tô ele tá aqui conversando com uma moça civilizada. Ah, não, mas eu quero ir logo para casa para matar só. É. É. Acabou acontecendo. Não sabia que você vinha. Então eu não me programei, tô cheio de coisa pra fazer aqui. Eu não resolvo. Ok, so I'm used to hearing words from my primo, your cousin. Yeah, I connect to just a couple words. I got the greeting and I know what saudade means to. I'm happy, very good. I can connect a few words I heard to conversation. I can get an idea of the conversation better. Okay, guys, just to give you some uh, understanding of this dialogue, this video. So we have here Newton, this guy, and his wife, Lucia. And this is the, uh, the angel, Gabriel. And the other two are just people. Okay, so Newton died 35 years ago. So he's still with this young face and Lucia just died they were married but but he died very young but Lucia lived more 35 years so now they met in heaven but and Gabriel is very happy because Lucia is the love of Newton's life and Newton is the love of Lucia's life so they are supposed to live together forever so they are meeting in the afterlife. But it happens that Newton is not so happy of seeing his wife, Lucia, because she's old now. And when they were married, when he died, she was just 27 years old. So she was pretty young, with a pretty face, uh, a very, I don't know how to say that, young skin and face, well... But now she's old, but she's still his wife. And they are having this complication because he apparently has two other girls in his life, in his life or his death. I don't know how to say that <laughs> because he's dead. And then she's there for him, but he's trying to avoid her, to get rid of her. So that's it. That's what his video is about. Uh, and and uh, if you want to watch the video, the whole video, you can do it by going to YouTube and try to find the video. The name of the video is Morreu and it's from Porta dos Fundos. So you can you can watch it there in in YouTube. Okay, Morreu is the name of the video. All right, guys. So now let's see. I'm sorry, I think I'm a little bit tired. Okay, so let's see if you find if you found out some words there with CNH. So the first one is when Lucia says, Há 35 anos que eu choro a sua ausência. So we have choro. Choro is the first person singular of the verb chorar, chorar, ok? So, chorar is to cry, so, choro, eu choro, so, it's eu choro, it means I cry, ok? Eu choro, choro, choro. And then, we have, when Newton says, uh, cê, tu tá mudada, hein? Tá vivida, deu uma espichada. Então, espichada. Espichada. What means that? It means that 
she is grown up now. It's like when he says, tu ta espichada, so... Você ta espichada means you're grown up now. Okay? And then we have also chega. Quando a pessoa chega no céu. Chega is the third person singular of the verb chegar. To arrive. So, a pessoa chega no céu means person arrives in the sky. Ok? Person arrives in the sky. And finally, not finally, actually you have Shopee, that you already know that is draft beer. And then we have the last one that is cheio, that is full. And he says in this sentence, Eu tô cheio de coisa para fazer aqui. I'm full or I'm very busy with a lot of a lot of to do, a lot to do. Yeah, that's it. The person, right? Thanks. The person arrived in the sky. Uh, okay, so cheio, cheio is full, but it could say in that in that sense, tô cheio de coisa para fazer. It means it means you are busy. I'm busy with a lot to do. Okay? I'm busy with a lot of things to do. Okay, guys. So, this class was for you to practice the pronunciation of words with CNH. And I hope you have learned some words, some vocabulary, some expressions. And you had fun with the video of from Porta dos, Porta dos Fundos, morreu, and uh, watch the rest of the video as a listening exercise, okay? Uh, and you have fun with that. All right, guys, so just to remember you, I asked you in the beginning of the class to follow us in the, to f follow us on YouTube, if you're not doing that yet, on Instagram, also in other social medias like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, we also LinkedIn. And, and I forgot a very important thing, that is the Yes Portuguese podcast. Yes, we have a podcast with a new episode uh, every Monday. Every Monday we post a new episode. And yesterday we posted an episode uh, that is, let me just me remember the title of the episode. And uh, if you want, you can listen to our podcast on, yeah, you can listen to our podcast on Spotify here, Yes Portuguese. So the, the episode of yesterday was 10 sentences in Portuguese for you to use when you're happy. But the podcast is all, all in Portuguese, okay? You only listen Portuguese while you listen to this podcast. And we are also here on... You are also here on Apple, so we are on Spotify. Apple Podcast. So, Spotify, Apple Podcast, and also SoundCloud. You can find those there, us there and listen to and you can listen to our episodes. It's only in Portuguese. It's a tool for you to practice your listening Portuguese, okay? Oh, I put sky. It was supposed to put heaven. Okay, I'm just seeing this comment. Because, yeah, it's not sky, it's heaven. I know that. Thanks, Charles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's heaven. Okay, guys, so you can listen to the, our podcast. I was saying that. You can join our WhatsApp group. It's a group. You can't talk. You can't 
communicate there and I ask you a favor to do not co contact other people in our in this group because sometimes they are there just to receive materials they are not there to practice with anyone okay or maybe if you try if the person don't answer you don't, the, the, doesn't answer you don't try to talk to this person anymore okay because it's very sometimes it bother people uh, and uh, it's better if you are all in the same, you know, in the same thought. We are all we are all there trying to learn Portuguese, and uh, but sometimes we ju people just want to receive the material, not to talk. Okay, so this group is not to talk; it's just to receive materials. So we share content there, um, sometimes more than twice a week, but we normally send materials every Tuesday and every Saturday an audio a transcription and a transcription from now on we have translation like the one I sent today I sent today okay so you can join this whatsapp group and there you have my con my personal number and Lujimila's personal number so if you have any doubt any question if you have anything you would like to ask or to talk about you can contact us in our personal numbers on whatsapp okay and uh, I also want to leave this with you because if you're new here, you don't know you have a you have a, we have a free ebook with free live classes about the chapters of the ebook. So you can download this ebook. It's free. It's up for beginners actually. It's the basic, it's the essential guide of basic Brazilian Portuguese. It helps you when you're traveling to Brazil for the first time and you need to uh, you need some expressions word questions sentences answers to use in your first time in a trip to Brazil so this this is a basic guide uh, to communicate in Portuguese and it will help you if you're just starting to learn and also as I said to you we have the yes Portuguese course in which we have our yappers that's our students and if you would like to be in this closed course uh, one day if you would like to know more about it I would like to invite you to go to this link yesportuguese.com and join our waiting list and I uh, show you how you can do that yeah because the, this is the what is it okay I can't find it. All right. So, okay, it's here. Well, guys, so if you go here, yesportuguese.com, okay? Oh, where is it? It's just loading. Yeah. Okay, so here you see this page here. They roam into the Yes Portuguese course. It's now closed. But you can join our waiting list if you want to be in our closed course. You just leave your name, your email and click to join our waiting list. And then, yeah, okay. And when the enrollment is open again, you'll be notified, okay? But while, and maybe you don't want to be in our closed course, you want to study for our free content and we are here for you you can join our live classes every every Tuesday and every Saturday so you can do it oops oh god yeah you can do it by going to this link yesportuguese.com slash live do yes and then you if you want to be notified when we are live, when we have another live class, you just join our community of Portuguese learners by go, pay, uh, writing your email here and to subscribing to our live classes. So we have a live class on YouTube every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And every Thursday, we have live class on Instagram at 1 p.m. Eastern time, okay? So guys, that's it, I guess. Let me just put it here. 
Let's see if you have any comment here. Okay, I think per pessoa means person or people, depending on the sentence. Oh, Pink, you're right. Pessoa means person, it's singular. And people means pessoas, it's plural. Yeah, anyway, meu aniversário é quinta-feira. Parabéns! Your birthday is on Thursday. Seu aniversário é quinta-feira. So, you have another live class on Instagram. Quinta-feira, so you're welcome to come and celebrate with me, okay? This was your first lesson. Welcome to Yes Portuguese, yes. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'm very excited too. Yeah. Okay, Charles, that's funny. Uh, arrives in the sky, implication being the uh, fly or maybe parachuting. Okay. Olá, Joaquim. Obrigado, obrigado a você por estar aqui na, sua, na nossa aula de hoje. Ok, Pink, thank you. Oh my, obrigada, aprendi novas palavras, obrigada. Obrigada por aprender, por fazer parte dessa aula, por estudar com a gente. A good show to watch is família, grande. It's a grande família, it's the opposite. A grande família. Yes, it's pretty cool, it's pretty funny. Yeah, you should try, guys. It's a good tip. Ok, guys, so I'm leaving you. It's already one hour of a class, a class of one hour. So thank you very much for being here. I hope to see you around the next classes. So the next one is on Thursday. I'll be there on Instagram waiting for you. Okay? So see you there. Tchau, tchau. Bye, bye. Até mais. Até quinta. Tchau.